Hello, good morning, brothers and sisters. Once again, it is a great day. Amen. Great day. Why? Because we have a great God. We'll be doing great things in our lives. Great things through our lives by the power of the Holy Spirit. It's so exciting that each day we know that God has something in store for us. Whether it is really for us or it is for someone else in which the Lord will be the one using us. Amen. Now, today, as we gather around the shepherd, we hear his voice. This is taken from the gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 17, beginning with verse 14. And when they came to the crowd, a man came up to Jesus, falling on his knees before him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is a lunatic and is very ill, for he often falls into the fire and often into the water. I brought him to your disciples, and they could not cure him. And Jesus answered and said, You unbelieving and perverted generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked him, and the demon came out of him, and the boy was cured at once. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could not drive it out? And he said to them, Because of the littleness of your faith. For truly I say to you, if you have faith the size of mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there. And if you move, then nothing will be impossible to you. But this kind doesn't go out except by prayer and fast. Brothers and sisters, this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, when they came to the crowd, meaning they came from somewhere, and to be, just to give you a background, it was this time that Christ had his transfiguration. And this transfiguration is just right behind me. Okay, there is Elijah and there is Moses and the cross Christ being transfigured. Then coming down, okay, this this father who came to Jesus. Definitely he told Jesus that the situation of his son. He was not just a lunatic, he was not just sick, but he is really he was really demon possessed. Because if you're just sick, then somehow there's there should be a control also. But according to the scriptures, the boy okay would throw himself to the fire or into the water that was already beyond the control. Okay? So he was really demon possessed. And even we learned by reading through the passages that Jesus rebuked the demon and how he left the boy. And the boy was healed. So according to the father, he went to, to his disciples already, seek, sought help, but they could not. So the resort of the father is was to go to Jesus. Now, I'm not going to dwell on the littleness of the faith of the disciples, but I want to focus on the Father because I could relate to the Father because I am also a father, father of two boys. And I know most of you are also parents and you could also relate to these passages. We know as parents, we'll be doing everything for the welfare of our children. More so if they're sick. More so if they're going through some tough situations in their lives and we want to help them. Just like this father, okay, we can see how this father did not give up. He always had that hope in him. First, he went to the disciples 
believing that okay if Christ is not around now we could I could also go to the disciples and they could also do miracles for my God but then what happened the disciples could not cast out the demon from the boy did the father give up no he went to Jesus and still presented his cause and true enough as a result of his persistence not giving up he got the result this boy was good you could just imagine this father bringing his boy I say he presented the boy to to the disciples and the boy definitely uh, was really beyond control you know? kumbaga hindi naman siya yung tame na boy you know? but somebody na who would be resisting okay i remember my son no way way back a long time ago uh he need to have injection but he won't accept and ayaw niya ng turok no talagang nag-uumiyak siya and he was so so strong to to resist the injection to the point na several nurse aides would really uh para strap him no para para maturukan lang okay you could just see that no and that is already within the control of the of my son but how much more if it's beyond the control so you could just see you could picture how the the, the father would be bringing the the boy with such resistance and yet again the father did not give up what could be his thoughts as he he brought uh the, the boy to to the disciples there is always the prayer prayer that lord deliver my boy deliver him from this demon possession and all those thoughts could be running around. and then the disciples tried but they failed and you could just see uh, somehow the the father could could be, wow saya bakit bakit hindi hindi mo gamot gamot ang anak ko but then when he saw Jesus coming down from the mountain after the transfiguration he regained his hope he directly went to Jesus and presented his Lord actually Jesus was the one who asked okay bring the boy here so after that the boy was what a beautiful illustration of parents of fathers mothers not giving up for the welfare of their children for us ayo mga parents at the mga magiging parents pa let's draw from this anong hugot natin we will not give up we will continue to set our hope in Jesus see the processes of the father from the disciples he went to Jesus and got the results that is long for we do not know how long had they suffered with such situation and for us we may be going through some situations then na ganun still believing Let's not give up on that. You know, uh, a few weeks ago, God impressed upon me to, to have this uh, Thanksgiving offering every Sunday. Even though I am alone, believing that come the Sunday will come, that when my two boys will be with me to present the Thanksgiving. The Lord impressed upon me, take that step of faith. And so, upon hearing that the following Sunday, 
I obeyed God. I'm not giving up that soon my voice will be back with me in the church and even presenting thanksgiving offering for the goodness and greatness of God. So there is always hope in the Lord. We set our trust in Him and God will not fail us. God will not put us into shame. It's the devil who will put those lies, those thoughts na, oh, bibilib-bilib ka pa eh, wala na yan, hindi na mangyayari yan. Okay? That would be the possible thoughts of the, the enemy um, na ilalagay doon sa tatay. But the dad, okay, did not give up. After seeing the disciples, he went to Jesus. And so are we. We will not give up. We continue to hold fast and believe that God will be doing great things in our lives, in the lives of our children, in the lives of our family, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. May the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, this time we present you our children, wherever they may be. Thank you that nothing is really impossible with you. And you will be doing great things also in their lives and through their lives by the power of the Holy Spirit. Use us, O oh Lord. Use us in lifting them and bringing them to you, presenting them to you. Lord Jesus, even to our prayers, we believe that there will be great results because we have the faith that can move mountains. We have a faith that can drive out evil can drive out demons, and that can heal any sickness or disease because we choose to believe in you. All this you ask and pray in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. So once again, let's go and let's have a great day. Bye-bye. Goodbye means God be with you. Amen.